You guys may or may not know this, but we do host follower dynasty and redraft leagues. That's right. For those who want to support us over on Patreon, it's a great way, great way to support what we do while also getting some great perks in return. One of those perks is being a part of a league. And we're going to start doing a series where we show dynasty trades in our follower leagues. That's right. Okay. Now, we'll try and do this every week. Let's just see how we go. But yeah. <laughs> the first trade we have is from our Delta League. Okay. This is shout out to the Delta League. Mm-hmm. And specifically, it was between the Don and Tigre Blanco. Tigre. Okay. El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> and you can now see the trade on the screen. You can see Team A, Don, got Kyler Murray, Bryce Hall, Brees Hall, excuse me, 2023 third. Uh, mm-hmm. Team B got Tigre. Um, sorry, he got Justin Herbert, Mike Williams, and a 23 seconds. Yeah. Obviously, context is important for both of these teams. And that's great. And we can show you that because we're in a league with him. That's right. Right? <laughs> so uh, let's have a look at this. This is a Delta League. We went to week three so we could see both of these teams. On the left side, you can see Don's team. Uh, so now, he, by the way, they need to change their team names. Okay. Because Don's team name is Herb Your Enthusiasm and T Gray's is Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. That's funny. But they traded both of those players away from each other. I just thought that was funny. Yeah, that is funny. Um, but obviously, you can see Don. Let's look at his team first Kyler Murray, Saquon, Brees Hall, Terry, Jahan, Dallas Goddard, Russell Gage, Amari Cooper, Dak Prescott, Kirk Cousins, Danny Dimes, Edmonds, Herbert, Evans, Haskins, Brian Robinson. You can kind of see the rest here. Yeah. Um, kind of a win, pretty much a win now team when you yeah, when you look at it. It is. It feels like maybe both of these guys are win now teams. That's obviously you can probably see El Tigre's team there as well. Yeah. I mean, Herbert, Eckler, Walker, uh, Mike Will, yeah, Allen Robinson, Kelsey, Juju, Singletary, Ryan Tannehill, Trubisky, Pickett. So it's good that he's got both of those guys. Mm-hmm. Carson, Michelle, Carter. And the list goes on and on. Pat the dragon. So by I the would. Way. S- he has. He has. It's just at the very bottom. Yeah. I think that's a pretty. On the cru- bench. A pretty crucial thing to say as well. Um, so when you look at that trade initially, what are your thoughts with or without context? Okay. Where Where do you kind of lean here? And so it yeah. could be in the middle, but where do you lean? No, without context, I'm gonna. Okay. S- I would say Team B. Um, okay. just because. I hope and believe that Mike Williams could be, I mean, he's still, he's, he's, the thing is that it's, it's weird because Mike is like on that turn as well. 27, 26 years old. He just got signed a three-year contract extension, but I really yeah. like Justin Herbert and Mike Williams, the combo together. And I think that's crucial. Okay. Um, So I would say team B initial thoughts, but when you look okay. into context, I would actually still say team um, El Tigre, okay. to be honest. Okay. I would still say El Tigre because he is the most complete team right now. Sure. You know, the one thing I don't like about El Tigre's team is that he has three three chargers, Herbert, Eckler, and Mike now. But everywhere else is great. You know, you, you see... It's pretty El- good triple stack there. Exactly. You see Allen Robinson, Kelsey. Just in case Mike does go down, you got Juju down there, you know? Like, um, obviously, I think the wide receiver rooms, that where it can be the downfall... Purely because I think that's why he made the trade as well. Yeah, like you, you look at his wide receiver room. Obviously, they're both trying to win now. And I, if if Mike Williams is not here, the only receivers are Allen Robinson and Juju, and Juju exactly that you can rely upon. So, so I think that's you the can problem. see why he made this deal. And then for for Don, he needed a running back, mm-hmm. right? Um, don't love that you have Terry and Jahan in your starting lineup, but. Um, maybe we can kind of play around with that. And I'm sure you're not done making trades. Yeah. Um, but you can see he definitely needed another starting running back, another starting caliber running back, if you will. Exactly. So, but you know, it's, so you, you go team B here. I'm, I'm team a, um, with and without context, but I understand. I, I, I truly do think that this is an example of a win, win trade. Yeah. It makes sense for both teams. Mm -hmm. Um, it makes sense for both strategies. And I don't think either side necessarily really overpaid. When I look at Kyler Murray, he's still a top, for me, he's a top five, four to five dynasty quarterback. Herbert's my three. I understand that I would rather have Justin Herbert, but if I can, like, if you can tell me that I can go from 
Mike Williams in a second to Brees Hall in a third, I'm probably doing that in a heartbeat. For sure. Um, and I guess it depends on how you guys view Brees Hall. But for me, I, I view Brees Hall as my RB3 in Dynasty already. That's where I have him. And um, I think he's going to absolutely be a, a pivotal part of this team for years and years to come. And I think he's one of those types of types of running backs who can actually transform an offense himself. He can make that offense better. So he's an elite running back prospect in my eyes. Okay. I, I still, you're telling me I still get a top six at worst dynasty quarterback and I get to get for younger sure. and still compete. For That's sure. kind of where I am um, on that side. I hear you. I hear you on that. And I think, I think uh, El Tiga is like one wide receiver away for being a complete team. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. even as obviously maybe they can do this trade. I'm thinking like of, of a Russell Gage that he can be a, a wide receiver three there. Uh, why we see well, I don't four, think that uh, that won't happen. Don, no, I'm I don't think Don wants to make Herb <laughs> or uh, T. Gray better if no, they're both competing. For sure, for sure. And I think I'm talking about like a caliber player like that. You know, maybe you can get right. a Russell Gage, maybe somebody that you don't have to spend too much money on, Alan Lazard and Alan Thielen, somebody like that that you can kind of bring into your team and just have a little bit more depth at the wide receiver position because. There's really no one else there on the bench. I mean, he has MVS. Hopefully, he can be something. McCole Harmon, uh, yeah. I don't really think so, in my opinion. So, Running back room is a little bit uh, – the depth isn't great, mm-hmm. you know. He just um, traded for with, Ken Walker as well, by the way. Yeah. That's another so you got thing. Eckler-Walker. If, if one of those guys were to go down, mm. there's not really a starting running back here. But at the same time, like we said before, you needed a wide receiver yeah. to fill fill the team. So it makes sense. Um, but with Don's team, we just got to, maybe, maybe we do need to send away Terry or Jahan because I don't want both of them in my starting lineup. Agree. I think he can also Uh, send away a Kirk Cousins or Daniel Jones. You know I mean? He has four quarterbacks now with Kyler. I mean, you got Dak as well. Maybe try to see what we can get for Danny Dimes, maybe on a high week during, during the season. Same thing with Kirk Cousins. I mean, top 12, I would rather keep Kirk Cousins and sell Danny Dimes. Yeah, we also wanted to show their, their draft capital for both of them. Yeah. So while Don's a win now team, I mean, both of these guys have done really well at keeping draft capital, exactly. but also competing. And most times if you see a competing team, they've kind of sacrificed their entire future. But I think both of these teams, you can see Don and then T gray, they both have done a great job at still keeping future draft capital. Mm-hmm. And see, obviously Don has two firsts in 2023. Um, and then a couple thirds. And then he's got four firsts in 2024 that's crazy so he's done he's done pretty well with his squad and obviously yeah. tigre still has every you know a pick in every round yeah of the draft I mean, so they've, they've both done pretty with well the draft capital it might have to be Don there i completely forgot about the draft capital 423 first and a first and two firsts in 2023 i mean that really just takes you over the edge there doesn't it my yeah. goodness i mean if we're grading teams but yeah, for sure. Trade wise, it doesn't trade. doesn't doesn't yeah. really change the trade. For sure, but. it doesn't change in trade, but like the team, yeah, wow. Ign- yeah, I mean, crazy. Don might be one that we need to worry for in this league. Yo, Don, here. send me a trade, yeah, bro. Delta league. What's happening? That's crazy. No, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, send send me your four twenty four first, bro. <laughs> I'll do you right. Let's see, let's see what can we offer these guys. Um, okay, so Don really needs a wide receiver. Excuse me, like he needs to move like Terry or Dotson. And I would say T. Gray needs a vet wide receiver or a vet running back. Mm. Um, I'm actually okay with I, the running backs that he has. I, I'm a believer. Yeah, um, I'm a believer in Michael Carter. Still, uh, I think I think the floor is okay for him. And someone like Devin Singletary. I mean, at the moment, he's going to be the lead back until James Cook really takes off. So we'll see what happens. I mean, for a couple of weeks, yeah. who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I thought this was fun. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. You know, should we keep doing this? Should we keep highlighting one trade from our follower leagues mm-hmm. each week? Let us know if that's something that we should do. And also, if you want to support our channel, support what we do, then you can play in a dynasty league with us as well over on patreon.com slash fantasylandfam. The link is in the description. We always ask that you read through every tier yeah. entirely before you sign up. Absolutely. There are rules and frequently asked questions over on our Discord about our follower leagues. Yeah. 
Literally everything is there. Any question you could ever think and of so is much there. More. It's answered for you. Rankings, um, actual videos. It's it's a lot. It's exciting. Well, I, I was talking about the the frequently asked questions. Oh no, I know. I'm saying I was saying like if you want to sign up for Patreon, you get you get so much yeah. more as well. Not just the leagues. You get our rankings, exclusive content. It's it's a lot of stuff that comes through. But yeah, read it through. It's awesome. Yep. All right, guys. Let us know if we should keep doing this series. Comment down below. Yo, what's good? What Thanks up? for watching. We got a lot more videos. A lot more. If you want more videos. Watch now, it. You can also subscribe. Right now. If you want to. You need to. And lastly, don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm -hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasyland fam.